contract work in the United States can sometimes be seen as a bit odd, but overseas it's quite common. Not all jobs require full-time positions, and labor laws in other countries make it much more difficult to hire and fire, so companies like to use contract positions to fill open roles. If you've been offered a contract position overseas, then this video is for you. Today, we're going to talk about how U.S. contractors get taxed when working overseas. So first off, yes, if you're a U.S. person and you're living and working overseas, you need to report your worldwide income to the IRS. The filing thresholds are the same for expats as they are for folks living in the U.S. Specifically, single filers under the age of 65 need to file if their gross income is over $12,950. If you file as head of household and your income is over $19,400, you'll need to file. Married filing jointly, the limit is $25,900. Married filing separately, the limit is only $5. And of course, if you're self-employed, the threshold is only $400. So if you have over $400 in self-employment income, you need to file a tax return. Now, for individuals working overseas as contractors, you'll need to determine where you must pay taxes first. Generally speaking, you would pay in your host country first, and then you would use the foreign tax credit to offset the amount you owe to the IRS. The foreign tax credit provides a dollar for dollar tax credit against your U.S. taxes. And we have a whole separate video on the foreign tax credit in our YouTube channel. So if you want more information, you can jump over and check that one out. If you're working in a low tax or a no tax country, then you might be better off using the foreign earned income exclusion or the FEIE. This allows you to exclude income that was earned outside the United States from U.S. taxes. For 2022, the amount you could exclude was $112,000. And for 2023, that is increasing to $120,000. We also have a video on the FEIE in our YouTube channel, so you can check that one out if this sounds like it applies to you. To qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion, you need to meet the physical presence test. This says that you are inside a foreign country for 330 days in a 365 day period. If you're a contractor, you cannot use the bona fide resident test because the IRS assumes that when your contract is up, you will return to the United States. A couple other things you should consider. First, you should check to see if there's a totalization agreement between your host country and the United States. This will help determine if or where you need to pay Social Security taxes. Sometimes you'd pay them in your host country, sometimes you'd pay them in the U.S. Second, after the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, relocation costs are now considered taxable. So you should have that on your radar, and if your employer offers you any relocation compensation, know that that's going to be taxable. Final thing I'll mention is that if you're paying for your own housing, then you may be able to use the foreign housing exclusion. This is filed in Form 2555, along with the foreign earned income exclusion. We have a whole video on that as well, if you wanna watch that for more information. And if you have any questions, please check out our website, greenbacktaxservices.com, where you can check out our YouTube channel for more expat tax videos. Thanks, have a great day. Thank you.